What's going on guys, Ian here today, I want to talk about the problems I've been having with my Galaxy S8 Plus. I received this phone about five months ago, and as soon as I got it, I wanted to test out the IP68 water resistance. So I dumped it in a bowl of water, I let it dry, it was fine. It was my first water resistant phone, I was, I was curious, so I wanted to try it out. And it was fine. Up until a few weeks, uh, about two weeks ago. <laughs> two weeks ago, I got the moisture detected error. And my phone hasn't been wet in a while since I first got it, honestly. So I went online and uh, I looked at the, the problems that other people have been having. And I seen that some people said that it's been caused because of an update, uh, corrosion in the USB port, or simply just a bad port in general. And unless it's like a really big like i didn't think it was a really big problem until my friend a friend of mine he's honestly he's the only friend i know that has a galaxy s8 plus and he had the same problem uh there was moisture detected in his charger port and he he couldn't fix it but there's a methods online that will tell you um if you go and hold down your power button and the volume down button at the same time just hold it like this it will go into um, this mode to where you can select safe mode and you can go down I don't know how well you can see this but the one I'm on now the third one down is safe mode so select safe mode and click the big speed button and it'll reset like normal and you will go into safe mode as you can see my device is in safe mode once you boot it up in safe mode you will see that your apps most of your apps are um, you have like uh, blank icons and things and it disables all the apps because some apps will trigger the moisture detected error and that will be the cause of the problem which in your case that's a good thing because it's not a hardware error but in my case, it's not. Um, I honestly believe I have a hardware error. But if this helped you, good. It was software. The software is messed up. Maybe they can update it or something to fix the problem. Okay, I'm going to warn you guys before I tell you this. I, I looked online and found this method. And I did it a couple of times. After that, it didn't work for me anymore. Um, I don't know if it did something to my port or what. But now my phone just decides to charge from the charger port whenever it wants. But the method I'm about to show you stopped working after about two weeks. I don't know if that's just a problem with me or it just, it, it just simply works. So what you can do is power the phone on. As soon as you see the Samsung logo, plug the phone in. Once it boots up, it should be charging but as you can see mine still says moisture detected so that method stopped working for me i don't know if it's a problem with all like i don't know if they just have a really bad problem with their ports or something but it seems to be a real common problem and they need to do something about it i reached out to samsung mobile on twitter and they had no problem fixing my phone and it just took it would just take seven to eight days to fix it and send it back i mean that's good you don't i mean you have to pay for the shipping and everything but you're gonna be out of a phone for seven to eight days some people can't do that but guys if you can afford the seven to eight days reach out to samsung mobile and they should help you out or your uh service provider i will go straight through samsung i think that's the best way to go if this video helped you out in any way Leave a like. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll answer any questions. I've been going through this for a couple of weeks now. That's it for the video, guys. My name is Zenith, and like always, I'll see you guys at the top.